Hi guys, I'm back for part 2 of the February Q&A. I wanted to film this all in like one setting, but ya boy had stuff to do yesterday so I couldn't do that. But yeah, I'm gonna finish it today. Um, if you haven't seen part 1 yet, I will link it somewhere over here. If you want, you can watch it before this one or after. It doesn't really matter, or you don't have to watch it at all. Drag me. Who or what is your muse? Uh, probably Bishan Tori. Do you guys know who that is? It is this dog that is on my phone. She's like an Instagram famous dog and she has like the roundest, fluffiest head in the world. She's also really mean as well, but she's so cute. I would say her. She is my muse. People always think that this is my dog and they're always like, oh my god, your dog is so cute. And I'm just like, yes, it is my dog. No, I'm just kidding. I'm like, no, it's not mine. What is your New Year's resolution? I actually don't make New Year's resolutions like anymore. I feel like they're kind of, I don't know, for me, I don't, I just, I just try and be like a better person every single day without caring what year it is or yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't feel like they're necessary. I guess if there is something that I have to work towards, then maybe I'll do, make that a resolution. But so far I haven't made one in a very long time. Rank your favorite memes slash trends of 2016. Uh, give me a second, let me just check my phone and look at all the awfulness that I have screenshotted over the past year. Spongebob memes, those are always a classic. Kermit the Frog, like the best reaction pictures ever. I like those one memes where it's like, um, this was Ice Cube back then and this is him now and he's like a glass of water. Those are funny. Also, you mentioned Jong Han in one of your videos. What's your opinion of his shorter hair and what's your opinion of Seventeen? I've only listened to like two Seventeen songs and there are a lot of members. I don't even know like half of their names. Actually, I don't even know a quarter of their names. But Jong Han, he used to have like super long hair and he cut it short. Um, it's okay. Like, I feel like his long hair made him stand out a little bit more. Now it's just kind of eh. But I kind of get it because when you're like a K-pop idol, you have to change your look like so often. So maybe that's why he did it. Also, he would dye his hair so often. Maybe it was just damaged. So he cut it off. I don't know. It's okay. I, I'm like neutral about it. Can you draw a dog? I'll try. What do dogs look like? I look at them so much, but I always forget. I'm just gonna look for a dog on Instagram and then like copy it. Oh my god, I haven't, I haven't drawn anything in so long. I'm so bad. Wow, the proportions are awful. I'm trying to do like shading with a pen, but you really can't. Shit. This is my dog, lol. Can you guys guess which dog it is? Also, this is a classic meme. I love this meme. Can you please do a boy to girl makeup transformation? Every time someone asks me to do this, I'm always like, damn, I'm gonna need like a wig. But then I forget my hair is literally like 10 feet long. Um, also, I can try. I'll probably need someone else to do my makeup transformation because I don't know how to do like a woman makeup transformation. I'll, I'll maybe, I'll try. Will you date me if I come to Canada? I will ask my parents first. I'm Asian, so I'm not allowed to date till I'm like 30. I'm sorry. Do you prefer sunsets or sunrises more? I hope you have a good day. Aw, thank you. I hope you have one, a good day as well. I think I prefer sunsets a little bit more. I'm like a night person. I like doing things during the nighttime. Sunrises are really nice when you're going like camping and stuff and when you're staying out the whole entire night and the sun starts to rise. Um, but I also associate sunrises with like, I stayed up till 7 a.m doing nothing and watching shows and now the sun is rising and hell is coming soon. So I kind of like sunsets a little bit more because I don't associate it with that feeling of dread. <laughs> hey Ed, since it will be another edition of Pun Days on Sundays, could you maybe tell us what's the pun you're the most proud about and the one you're the least proud of? Hair game strong as usual, keep it up. I haven't made a pun in so long. What's like a good one? I remember the one where it was like, what did the old man say to Walt Disney? And the joke was, he said, Disney is fake! Like, Disney, because he's old and his knees are giving out. Sad, but funny. And the one that I'm least proud about, probably all of them, to be honest. 
If you guys want to go back and like find one of the worst puns that I've ever done, um, feel free to screenshot it and send it to me. What's your favorite meme of 2017 so far? Also, love you, Ed. <laughs> I've never done that before. It's, it's kind of strange. Um, 2017, what has 2017 brought us? Is Cash Me Outside 2017? I, that's a pretty good one. It's the most relevant one that I can think of. Also, like, Salt Bay, that one's pretty good. Why do you hate Geminis, and when are you down to square up and catch these hands? Oh my god, I don't hate Geminis. I hate people that are, like, two-faced and that are, like, kind of sneaky and manip manipulative and just, like, don't show their true selves and they're always, like, putting up a front. So... Gemini's. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I sound like that scene in Mean Girls where she's like, I don't hate you because you're fat. You're fat because I hate you. Closet tour? Uh, maybe. I did a closet tour like a really long time ago. I think it was only for like a minute because my closet's literally so small. And if I did do one, I would have to clean my closet because it's very messy right now. I have too many clothes. Do you currently have or want to explore any other art forms? Uh, drawing, painting, music, photography, etc, etc. Uh, yeah, definitely. I've always been more of a creative person. Um, I did take like photography in high school. Um, also like drawing as well. Uh, music. I used to play guitar. I have a guitar I haven't played in so long. Um, like singing. I've done like pretty much all the creative stuff things, the creative things that you can do. I haven't practiced any of them in a very long time, but um, yeah, maybe if there's like new things, I'm always willing to learn. So yeah. You walk into a bar and you see your mom's best friend's neighbor frying spaghetti in the oven. What do you do? Is this a meme or something? What is this? I'd be like, ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. Honestly, I don't know. Probably like ask if I can have some. I had spaghetti yesterday. My mom made it and it was so good. But I literally ate 99.9% .9 of all of it. And there was like a tiny bit of meat left. And I noticed something like long and like scary and like look something that looked like an eyelash or like an eyebrow. And it was a, it was a hair. And I can't believe that I ate almost all of that food without eating that. Unless I ate like all the other hairs that were in there, but yeah. My mom makes good food though, other than the hair. Where are your parents from? Uh, my dad was born in India, Calcutta, and then my mom was born in Vietnam. But they are both Chinese people. Yeah, people always wonder what my ethnicity is, but I'm pretty sure I'm all Chinese. What are you using on your skin at the moment? A very long list of various like goo that I like slap on my face. Um, I did make a get ready with me video. Um, I'll link it somewhere, you can watch it. It basically shows you like my whole skincare routine and all of the stuff that makes my face look uh, acceptable for society standards. But today all I'm wearing is just like all my skincare, sunscreen, tinted moisturizer, the, the usual stuff. If you were a farmer and could only grow one crop, what crop would it be? Probably a potato farmer, because potatoes, you could literally make any type of food. Um, are, is, are they hard to grow? I don't even know how potatoes grow. Someone told me at work the other day that Europe is separated into tomato Europe and potato Europe, because th those are their main sources of food. I thought that's, they were saying like that's where potatoes and tomatoes came from, but no. Yeah, but yeah, I would like to be a potato farmer because any food related to potatoes is good ass. Except boiled potatoes, I feel like I wouldn't, well actually, hmm, you no, know, yeah, boiled potatoes. That's like a, something a white person, a white family <laughs> would eat. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so rude to white people. How do you feel about Chris and JJ? Important question. Wow. All these anime questions are exposing me for the otaku that I am. The first time I saw JJ in an episode, he was very annoying. I hate those characters where they're so arrogant and like, even the inspiring part where everyone was like, go JJ, I was like... But then I feel like you can't really hate any of the characters in Yuri on Ice because there's also like a different um, like perspective of them sometimes because you see one side and then another side. So. I don't hate him, but I don't... I'm neutral. He can just do himself, but just chill, please. I forgot who Chris was, but I just remembered, and... 
literally has no chill. But honestly, me. Do you like tea? I'm drinking tea right now. Uh, my favorite tea would probably just be like a black tea. Um, I do like matcha. Matcha is really good. It's like super healthy for you and I always drink it when I'm like dying of <laughs> lack of sleep. I don't know if you're asking me something shady or not, but I like drinking tea. That's nice. How to control yourself without ripping out that hair when you see a doggo. Honestly beats me. I don't even know how I do it. Um, if I could like yank out my hair and not have it hurt and have it like grow back in like a couple seconds, I probably would because doggos are... we don't deserve them. What do you think about Mariah Carey's I Don't? The Queen is back. Actually, the first time I heard that song, I was kind of like, okay, it's like, it's okay. It's not like the best thing she's ever um, released. But then the more I listened to it, the more it grew on me and I actually really like the song now. I also saw a lot of comments on her music video. She was getting a lot of hate just by like other fandoms. They were like, oh my God, she's like so old and she's like uh, Ariana, Ariana Grande wannabe. And it's like, okay, ch chill, calm down, child. You are like nine years old. I don't get how people are always coming for her about her age and how she's old and how she like shouldn't like sing or like wear clothes. Your age shouldn't dictate how like talented you are and whether or not you should still be like doing things you're passionate about. Also, I saw this one comment on there. It was saying that, okay, like all your idols, like Ariana Grande, Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, they're all literally going to be, go through the stage of becoming old. And the only way they can escape that stage is if they kill themselves. So why are, you know what I mean? It's very like hypocritical. And people are also bringing up her New Year's thing and how it was like a mess and like a train wreck, which I agree it was, but how does that even, that doesn't even correlate with the fact that like she came up with a new song and whether it's good or not, like there's no correlation between the two. I feel like people on the internet, they don't know how to argue. They just like throw out like statements that are like stupid and that have like no, um, they don't contribute anything to the argument and they just like say shit. But yeah, I, I like this song. How long will be too long for your hair? I'm assuming you're talking about like the length. Um, I feel like if my hair uh, grows past like my waist, I feel like that will be a little bit... No, I think that will definitely be too long for me. So I'll definitely like cut it shorter. I keep talking about how I want to get a trim eventually. I'm just... I haven't got a haircut in like almost three years. And I'm just like... Uh, I always like put it off, but I do want to get it cut a little bit shorter. Don't know when, but eventually I will. Hi Senpai, do you like to braid your hair and what types of braids uh, do you like? Senpai, notice me. Notice. How do I notice people? When someone says notice me, how, how should I go about that? Should I just be like, notice? Or should I be like, hey? Or like, what should I say? I don't do braids too often. Sometimes when my hair is kind of like out of control, I'll just like put it to the side and braid it down like that. But that's really the only braid that I do like on a day-to-day -day basis, really. What is your favorite anime of all time? I think I already answered this question. Why are y'all exposing me? Can you teach me how to daddy, daddy? <laughs> I still feel like I'm not a full-fledged daddy yet. I'm still like learning. I think I'm just like a daddy in training, so once I get like my certifications, then I will teach you. Why did you start doing YouTube? Um, so I started doing YouTube like so long ago. Uh, when I first started, I was really into watching people's um, like vlogs and how they were talking about different topics and like they were doing skits and stuff. So then I thought it was really cool and I kind of wanted to like do that as well. So that's how I started doing YouTube. And then um, another part of this question was saying like, when did it start getting real? So I guess I started taking YouTube a little bit more seriously, like um, maybe a year or two years ago. Um, back when I made like one of my first like hair tutorial videos, um, that's when I started getting a little bit more traffic to my channel. And I was like, oh, people, people are interested and they want to see that. So then I started doing that a little bit more. Um, I started to do a little bit more like fashion related skincare. Um, kind of what you see now, like this kind of stuff. Back then, I really didn't do any of this stuff at all. So then, um, after that, I started to see, yeah, more growth, and I guess that's when it started to become real, I guess. And they also asked, what equipment do you use now? And they're asking, what equipment do I use now? 
Uh, to film, I use the Canon G7X. It's the camera with like the flippy, the screen that flips up. A lot of YouTubers use it to vlog. Uh, I do use a microphone. I use the, uh, what's it called? The blue ice, the blue snowball ice, something like that. It's like one of those uh, microphones that's like round and you plug it into the computer with a USB. And then I also have like that lighting, that giant ass lighting over there that I'm currently not using. I usually try and film during daylight hours because I find that natural lighting like looks the best in my opinion. Um, I do use like that, like the big studio light thing that I bought um, like once in a while if I do f want to film something at night or if I want to like take pictures or something. Uh, but for equipment, yeah, that's basically all, basically all that I have. How do you deal with split ends while growing out your hair? And do you ever get trims at a salon or do you do it yourself? So I've never dyed my hair before and I also never use heat tools on my hair. So I thought I actually had like no split ends at all because I thought that was the only reason you got split ends. But looking at my hair, like recently I like saw a couple and I was like, where did these come from? But like I said, I haven't cut my hair or gotten a trim at the salon for like three years. So the best thing to do with split ends to like help them is to get like a trim or to use like a split end remedy uh, cream or something to like tame them and like repair them. Uh, yeah, sorry, I don't have too many tips on this topic because I haven't really dealt with it too much myself. How do your parents feel about your long hair? Um, I think they hate it. I don't think they like it very much. They're always like, hey, your hair's getting kind of long, or they're like, when are you gonna get a haircut? I also shed like crazy, so I think that's another reason why they don't like it. Um, obviously, they're not gonna like force me to go get a haircut, but yeah, they're just like, oh, your hair's like really long. Maybe you should cut it. And I'm like, oh yeah, I, I probably will someday. And then that's that's pretty much it. What is your moral alignment? Um, what is my moral alignment? I don't know. Chaotic lawful? Alright, so those are all the questions that I will be answering in this Q&A. There were quite a bit of questions, so I'm sorry if I didn't get to yours. Um, I will make another Q&A in the future, so feel free to ask a question again if you want. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if, uh, I don't know. If you're a closet otaku and you don't let anyone in your public life know that you are one. Except on the internet. You can also follow me on social media if you want to keep updated with things that I'm doing in my life. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye! You can also follow me on social media if you want and yeah, hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!